Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Ms. Scarlet and we're playing some Final Fantasy X, what might be the last episode. Look who it is. It's a jerk. It is a jerk. <laughs> Don't you ever more. give up? Sin has chosen me. Yep, yeah, yeah, sure, bro. I am part of Sin. I am sure, one with Sin forever. Immortal. I'm Sin pretty just sure you're just dead and a creeper and I don't like you. From within. I have all the time in the world. Yeah, sure, bro. Since you were gracious enough to dispose of Unaleska, the only means of destroying sin is forever gone. Now nothing can stop us. <laughs> he gets crazier and crazier as time with each cutscene. <laughs> yeah, we can because we're awesome. I will, will fist the cuffs the crap out of you, Seymour, bro. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck a lot. Oh. So! Got ourselves an anima. Let's hope that we can take down Seymour with the anima, because it would be poetic to take down his mother. I forgot that happens! If you summon his mother during this fight, he gets all pissy at you. It's great. <laughs> okay then. So, you know... I mean... Let's just kill the Seymour. I mean, let's just kill the Seymour. I, might, I probably won't even use my overdrive. Because there's not too much point in using the overdrive, seeing as I can do uh, that much damage to him. Um... Please don't. Please don't Uber attack your own mother. It's kind of rude. Seymour. Seymour, you're being rude right now. Rose hitting his own mother. It's just a rude boy. Okay, Seymour, we're going to have to show you some discipline for hitting your mother. I mean, as soon as the spinning stops. As usual, I have tea when I'm recording. Because <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> okay, this is, um... Yeah. I mean, I could probably get away with normal attack, but... I don't really want to use Oblivion. Ah, oh, screw it. <laughs> I'll just use Pain. I mean, it should be enough to take him out. Fingers crossed. Was that enough? Oh good, it was. <laughs> it was just barely enough. I can't remember exactly how much hit points he had. Like, wait a minute, please don't tell me he had like 10 hit points left and that he kills his mother. Cause that'd be rude. <laughs> I'd rather like to finish the game in this episode if that'd be. That's alright with you, Seymour, buddy. Now, you send it! I love how everybody is right. still in their battle poses. You still got the battle music going on as Yuna starts to send him. I mean, this music does not match what's going on at the screen right now at all. See, now it fades away, but everybody's still in their battle stances except for Yuna, who is dancing. So, it is you, after all, who will send me. Who else would it be, Isaru? <laughs> Bro, she's the only summoner around here but at the moment. even after I am gone, Spira's sorrow will prevail. Well, that's pessimistic of you. I mean, all we gotta do is murder Sit another father. Right behind you. I mean, well, Seymour's not a father, but Seymour did try to murder his mother in the form of the anima summon just now, and we're going to go commit patricide on Jesus' father. Because, you know, we can't have nice things and stuff. Oh well, onwards and onwards. And here we guys are at the big thingy. So, the fact that this drops down now like this is never really explained. And, I mean, if it had dropped down like 10 feet forward, it would have turned this into a pancake. But, is a lot of things that this last little tiny endgame part don't make too much sense. But, you gotta do them. So, the second you go into this tower, the moment you go into this tower, you are at the point of no return. So, you just hit this and 
I should go to the end of the game. Which is, of course, this weird little, like, whatever the fuck this is, and you have to get... I think it was nine or ten of these little egg things that just have awesome weapons that you can use in the uh, final fight. If, mostly awesome weapons. If you didn't have Titus or Titus's and everybody else's ultimate weapons, which I have all but three of them. Also, if you get hit by a spike, you get put into a battle. But uh, that go fight so in easy the battles, the I'm just gonna run because I again I want to finish this episode. I want to finish this game. I got other things I gotta do. Like, study to be a doctor! I won't be the best doctor. Oh, and is that the... Okay, yeah, it was nine. I can remember if it was nine or ten. Guess it was nine. So after that weird whatever the hell mini game, we finally get to go to the end game. Which is going to go swimmingly well, and is not going to go terribly well in any shape or possible form. How the fuck am I kidding? That's gonna go terribly. <laughs> I'm probably going to die at least once during this fight, because it's not that the fight is hard, it's just there's a lot of things that can go wrong in this fight, and it is really, really long. I mean, if you guys thought Unaleska was a long fight, this is... Jack usually can be longer, because I'm pretty sure he has more hit points than Unaleska does. Thankfully, he doesn't pull out the 5 billion, um... Everybody is now poison stuff, which is... Bullshit. I mean, I'm just checking my weapons here. I gotta make sure that nobody's using the stupid capture weapons. Um. Before this fight. But. <sighs> Hi, Oren. How come you didn't get sent when Seymour was getting sent? Because later on we see Yuna sending somebody else next to Orin, and Orin gets all, like, firefly-y. But... He didn't get sent when Se Seymour got You're sent. You're late, Orin. Thanks for that, Jack. I know. And look, Jack Demundo. Hey. Funniest part- funny thing about this is the fact that everybody else is in their super high quality, um, like, Character models. <laughs> you got tall, but you're all bald. Except Jack, because they never gave him a high quality um, character model. Right, boy. <laughs> so he still got the flat face compared to everybody else. You've really. Also, Jack's an asshole. Yeah, but you're still bigger. Of course he is. <laughs> he works out more than you. You're a well, stick. I am sin, you know. Dad jokes. Dad jokes with Jack. That's not funny. No, I'm pretty sure it is quite funny. I mean, to me it is. <laughs> well, then... I mean, you know... Just tell him you love him, dumbass. Let's end this. Dad? Yeah? I hate you. See, he means I love you. He really means I love you. <laughs> Because he loves his dad. I know, I know. I mean, he says I hate you, but you what he really means is, I love you. <laughs> and I love you and I don't want to kill you, but I have to kill you anyway. Yeah. I... I can't hear the hymn so well anymore. Pretty soon I'm gonna be sin. Completely. So has Jack just been sitting I'm on this? Here now. Has Jack just been sitting on this pedestal or this little platform for ten years? One at thing, least, though, maybe a little bit longer. When it starts, I won't be myself anymore. Yeah, but you're also gonna have badass music, so it's. I, mean, I won't it's okay. be able to hold myself back. Then why don't we put a bullet through his head now? I'm sorry. Like seriously, sword in chest. That's enough. No, no. Sword in chest right now stops Let's him from turning this. into Aeon Jack. Okay? And because Aeon Jack is an right. asshole. <sighs> okay. Also, after this fight, we're going to have the world's shortest FMV cutscene, I swear to god. Well, I think then. it's like two seconds long. <gasps> Let's go. Seriously! Sword through his chest right now before he turns into an Aeon. <sighs> Instead of, you know, letting him turn into the Aeon, just chop his head off 
right now. Of course, then we wouldn't have a badass final boss fight, and we wouldn't have Titus being a wine AC teenager, and we wouldn't have me headbanging. Because you know it's gonna happen. It happened at the beginning of the game, and it's the same song, so of course I have to headbang. I'm probably gonna hit my microphone though. Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on. No, don't give. This isn't the short cutscene, by the way. This isn't the short movie. Come on. Also, that kind of hurt. that kind of gave me a headache. <clears throat> I mean, I probably shouldn't have been anymore, but. Okay, I'm just actually play the game now that my hair has gotten fabulous. I'm looking over at the webcam thing or something. Okay, let's try not to fail at this horribly while I probably fail at it horribly. Because I'm really bad at some of Orin's color drives. Okay. I always forget which way is right and which way is left. That always trips me up with the gosh darn Orin stuff. Okay, what am I gonna summon again? Or should I even summon anything just yet? Mm. Always good to know the HP of the boss you are trying to murder. Oh. Um. Oh yeah, I can talk. Uh, say that for later, but cause you kinda got a dead unit. That's the bad thing. I won't lose! Want the dead, you know? oh. So what did Taki even do? The Super the Lord is power, but the Pagodas are doing power waves. Oh god, it's been way too long since I've done this boss fight. <laughs> My bunnies are looking at me weird because I was headbanging. Okay. Um, let's not do the talking again. I mean, the power went away, so... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Walk out. Just please revive Yuna, because we need her and her summons, because I can't do shit in this game without her summons. Because I'm terrible at video games. Thanks for that, Pagodas. Just a split him into his uh, overdrive. Just fabulous. Also, great design for an Aeon. Seriously. Jack's design. Badass. Okay. Aww. I kind of want to save you, Jimbo. There would be badass if I took out Jack with. Uh, it's on Mato. Because I took out Unaleska with Zanmanto, which is already flabbergasting. Flabber- flabbergasting? Flab- flabber- flab- 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 I don't know, man. Um... But if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure Jack is a two-stage boss fight. Like, Unaleska is a three-stage boss fight, but I'm pretty sure that Jack is at least a two-stage boss fight. So, I should probably save Zanmat- or a possible, I should say, a possible Zanmato. Because since we're past the point of no return, I can literally pour every single gill I have into Yojimbo all at once to try and get into Zanmato. 
And it won't even matter because when I load my save again, I will be outside this area. So. You cross your fingers, you guys, because if I can Zan Mato the final boss of the game, just insta kill him. Okay. So. Excuse me? What are you doing, bro? Jack? Jack, can we talk about this? Jack? This is gonna hurt, isn't it? This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Excuse me while I choke on my teeth. <laughs> so, um... So that just happens? Um, Orin, Orin, please, Mega Phoenix. Please, Mega Phoenix blocks. Look, I don't want to have to do this boss fight again. Could we not? Could, could we not do this boss fight, please? I don't- I don't- it takes forever. This fight takes forever. <laughs> Jack, why? Jack, no! Jack, please! <laughs> You know what? Screw it. We brought him into the second stage of the boss fight. I'm summoning Yojimbo. We are pouring every ounce of kill that we have into him, and we are praying, hoping, whatever you want to say for a fucking Zanmato. Because it's it, this entire recording, like you guys are saying maybe 45 minutes, this recording is going to take me three hours, because this fight is long. Okay. I just on my the final boss. <laughs> That's what you get for game over in me, son of a monkey's uncle. I just censored myself there. Get wrecked, Jax. That rhymed. I did not mean that to rhyme, but it did. So there goes you, Yevon. Also, I insta-killed the final boss. Jackass deserved it. Totally deserved it because it game over me and had me do over. Oh my god, I have to redo so much shit. I get hijacked! How are you still alive? I'm pretty sure I stabbed you in the face a lot. I also cut you in half with an insta kill boss fight attack thing. Oh, and of course it's. You know, the one who hates him, who grabs him. <laughs> Okay, checked. Okay, Titus. Time for you to profess your undying love for each other. Because he is your papa. You'll cry. You're gonna cry. You always cry. See? You're crying. Check you're an asshole! <laughs> See? World shortest cutscene. Or, FMJ. Just slow zoom on Titus's crying face and go like, hey, even though I totally love you. <laughs> dead Jack is dead. For oh, later. he's not dead yet. Why do I have sniffles? Right. We've got a job to do. Don't we? Yeah, stab him in the face. Like, take that giant sword and put it directly Good. through his sternum. That's right. You are my son, after all. He just, he just died, like, he's dying as he fell on the ground. And yet he has enough strength you know, to sit back up for the first time I'm glad. have you as my father. And yet you just said you hated him three times. Sir Jack, I should... No. Yuna. There's no time. There's no time for ascending. <laughs> Which totally Don't leaves open the option for Jack Yuna, returning as an unsent. You know now. what to do. The Aeons. We Aeons. 
Call them! Call us! How does Jekt know the Aeon's plan here? I mean, as far as we know, Yu Yevin and Jekt don't really have contact with the other Aeons. Um, especially not Jekt, because he's just the vessel for Yu Yevin as, the fi as Braska's final summon. So how do how is he privy to the Aeon's plan here of tricking Yuna into killing Titus? <laughs> Grant is if I remember yes. correctly, I think Titus blows the just blows the lid off of everything right before the fight anyway. Here it comes! Okay, here we go. <clears throat> hey, hey bro. Though if you think about it, why would the- why would Yu Yevin- why would we need to summon all of the summons to take out Yu Yevin? Because you can see he's not- he's not possessing anything right now. So shouldn't we just be able to kill Yu Yevin without summoning anything if he's just right there? Or could he go- or if we didn't, would he go to a temple and possess the- possess the faith there? Like- why, and also, why am I trying to find logic in a goddamn video game? Okay, I'm really bad at that. Okay, let's 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 summon the. Let's pick the first one to beat the crap out of. I'm gonna be the first Aeon. So yeah, we gotta beat the crap out of every single one of our Aeons because they're all gonna get possessed by new Yu Yevin, and we're gonna murder them like we murder Jex. And of course, you gotta use, do the first. So if I wanted to be poignant, I could have. Save Baleful for last because it was her first Aeon. But I kind of want to leave Bahamut, the one connected with Titus, for last. But either way, you guys see that there's halos over our heads, right? We cannot die here. We have an infinite auto life. So you literally cannot lose the game at this point, yet it still has you, you know. You still have to do the fight because it wants to force you, as the player, to kill every single one of your Aeons. And wants to force you to be that asshole. And the Aeons are, if I remember correctly, they're only as powerful as the ones you had. So it's literally possessing the ones that you have built up. I think. Because you see, I just one shot a Balefor, and my Balefor's not that powerful, so. Oh, Uni! Uni's like, you just tore it apart in my heart. <laughs> Bye, Naga Sisters! See you later, Brack! And see you later, G Free. Everybody, say goodbye to the wonderful fire monster. Eaters. Next on the chopping block, Yojimbo, with just a little bit of Tita's action here. Bye, Mr. Yojimbo. Uh, see you and your dog, and if I ever decide to let's play Final Fantasy X too. Why would I do that to myself? I mean, I have a really good file, so I could do it. Oh, Yuna! And goodbye to Ixion! Ixion's next on the chopping block. So, Yuna gets progressively just sadder and more wretched the more Aeons you kill, and it just, it just makes you wanna cry. Cause she's getting pieces of her heart taken out, like just torn out every single time you take one of these Aeons out. <laughs> Poor girl. And then... We have murdered Shiva. It just leaves two left. Two left. Bye, Anima. Get wrecked by the power of my boss. Oh. <laughs> don't know why I said it like that, but I did. <laughs> okay, and that just leaves us with Bahamut. Just gonna murder Bahamut. All right, Riku. Riku's the one who gets to do the deed. See ya, Bahamut! <laughs> and like that, we have now murdered every single Aeon. They are now all permadead and we can no longer summon them. Thankfully, I have the Nirvana weapon for you so I can just use Holy. Just Holy for days. Holy for one MP. It's fine. It also means... It's time to take down... You yeah. It was a massive fiery grossness and a beetle. 
You have him. He's a bug. I have to say, when I first played this game, I didn't see that coming. <sighs> Titus. Everyone. Titus. Don't you do this it. This is the last time we fight together. Why can't he okay. leave this for after? Huh? Like they can totally just say we're not fight we're not fighting you Yevon now, what bro. What I'm trying to say is, after we beat you, Yevon, I'll disappear. What are you talking about? Yep. He was like, "Why? No, we can't fight you, Yevon, but we have to." Shit. See, Titus, you could have saved people a lot of angst if you just, if you just, if you just did it. If you just didn't say a goddamn word until after you killed the monster. I'm saying goodbye. But now nobody's gonna Not be now. able. Now nobody's gonna be able to fight at their full potential. I know it's selfish. Because they're all gonna be this like, but Titus story. is dying! Also, Titus, you're a selfish asshole. Because it is not just your story, it is your story, and Laka's story, and Lulu's story, and everybody else's story, too. Besides, if you had, like, Yuna and you had Titus, it's not- it's much more Yuna's story than it is Titus's story. As you can see, we can't use summons anymore. But yeah, Titus- my entire argument here is that Titus is an asshole. Also, Holy. Because Holy is OP. But. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, then, um. I don't know what to do here. I mean, if he's just going. Like, every time I hit him. Well, of course we need these scampers, but if every time I hit him, he's just going to heal himself. Here's Telly, stop fighting over your food. Yes, Ultima. Yes, he's Ultima. Please don't heal yourself. Maybe. Because I'd rather not deal with a dude who will heal himself after every attack. Because that seems sort of rude, especially when I can't be killed in this fight. God damn it. Dead now? Good. So what I ended up doing was I threw Reflect onto Yu Yevin, and then I threw Reflect onto Lulu, I think it was. Um, so I could just bounce all my magic off of Lulu and hit Yu Yevin with it. And every time Yu Yevin cured himself, he actually cured one of my people because it bounced off of him. Because I don't want to have to deal with him constantly healing himself when I'm trying to murder his face. But either way, Crash Debug! I Crash Debug. And now... Endgame cutscenes. No more fights that I literally cannot lose, but still find a way to piss me off. Ah, I got a trophy. Why show us be said? Because everything's happening over Bavel. And when you look on the map of Spira, Bavel and the Said are literally like almost as far apart as you can get. The only thing that's further would be like Gagazet and Xanarkin. Bavel and Besaid are almost as far apart on Spira as they could get. How in the world? How in the how in just physics? How in the world? Can Besaid see the fight against Sin and see Sin dying? Or see Yu Yevon dying? Because curvature of the planet? Much? Like, curvature of the world, Bevel's on one side. In fact, it's probably daytime in Bevel. Actually, it was like sunset in Bevel. When we fought Sin or something like that. And yet, it's night, and it's nighttime in Besaid. So, how the hell <laughs> can the people in Besaid? See what's going on in Bavel. Like, even if they could, even if we were just like high up in the stratosphere doing the fight against Sin on the airship and stuff, which brings in other problems, um, like breathing. How could the people, like, e even if they could see a little bit of something, all they could see is a speck. I mean, maybe they see the speck explode, but how could they know what that means? 
Especially because there's no way Shalinda got to Besay to tell them to start singing the hymn, too. And again, I'm looking for logic in a video game that has none. <sighs> well then. Hi, Veil Four. Aww, aren't you pretty? And now... You're dead. Because we murdered all the Aeons. You'd think that the Aeons would turn to stone like this. After they got possessed and destroyed by Yu Yevin. Or got possessed by Yu Yevin and destroyed by us. You think you wouldn't think they would wait for Yu Yevin to die for them to turn all gross looking. Bye, Shiva. Thankfully it's not just gonna slowly go through every single face death. It just goes through a couple of them. Like my man the hives. And then all of the aeons will never ever be seen again. Until the sequel. <laughs> This game seriously didn't need a sequel. It really didn't. I mean, there are things that I really like about Ten Two. I will be honest there. But there is also a lot of what the fuck in that game. A lot of what the fuck. And here's Yuna. Doing that sending. For Jax. And everybody else. Him now. Don't stop. That's what she said. Um. How come this effect, like this sending, That's affects right. Orin, but sending Seymour didn't affect Orin? Why am I? I just need to stop. I just need to stop finding logic in video games. Those two, man. Those two. That bromance. Kimari Orin bromance. Best bromance. So I kind of want to know how Orin aged this whole time. It's been long enough. I mean, I guess it's an explanation for why he has the same clothing as he did when he was younger. But... Because Unsent aren't supposed to age. Micah didn't age after he died. This as far as we is know. your world now. It's always been our world, asshole. Bye, Oren. I love your face. Seriously, he's great. Oren's awesome. Well, definitely one of my favorite characters in this game. Because he's just that cool, stoic, like, mentory badass. But, now that Oren's gone, and Yuna's sending all of the Aeons. And Sin is dying. You know, I kind of... I've never really seen this cutscene if you don't have Anima, or you don't have Naga Sisters. Do they still show up in the cutscene? Like, do they still show up in this cutscene if you don't, if you never get them? Because they're optional Aeons? Because Anima's really, really big in the scene. But either way... Still, still gotta. Bye, guys! Bye, Shiva! Bye, Bahamut! Bye, Yifrit! Bye, Belfour! Fireflies everywhere! Still gotta wait for one more person to turn into fireflies. I will admit, the first time I played this endgame, one, it's really good. Like, that's really good. And two, Oh, it made me want to cry. I think the first time I did see this ending, I did actually cry. Cause it's so sad. And the massive summoning of Xanarkand is coming to an end. 
which means everybody in Dreams Anarchin is going bye bye. Like Titus. to go. You can't really stop him, honey. Seeing as he's kind of see-through right now. Show you Goodbye. Oh. Hey. I love how Titus is like, I'm, I'm going to go and jump off of the airship instead of just waiting to turn into Firefly so he can stay with you and everybody else for as long as physically possible. Huh? RIP. See, now he's turning into Fireflies. Yeah, you just stay with them for as long as possible until he finally just poofs. But no, he's like, I have to be dramatic and jump off of the airship. Titus, you are such an angsty teenage boy. Hey, Uni. I love you. Aww. Aww. She doesn't say that in the Japanese version, by the way. If I remember correctly, she doesn't say I love you, she just says thank you. I think. I might be wrong there, but I don't think she actually says I love you in the Japanese version. That's fine. Different cultures, different sensibilities and stuff. Aww. He is half phased into her right now. <laughs> also, he's see through. It's so sad and so touching, and now he's... He's just gonna walk right through her. He, he was inside her for a second. Take that however you want to, you guys. Bye, Titus! Gotta be dramatic and jump off the ship. <laughs> Kinda wonder how Brosk is there, seeing as he's hella dead. Also, he's still so they're both solid enough to make a sound. And they hit each other, so it would be hilarious to me if Titus just kept going and he hit the ocean. <laughs> Still solid. Just the worst possible belly flop. <laughs> then again, I'm I'm mean and rude, so. Oh my god, this game looks so gorgeous. Okay. Whistle as hard as you want, honey. He ain't coming. Yuna, it's time. Was I supposed to wear my Yuna costume for the last video? I forgot. <laughs> Oops! I totally forgot to wear my Yuna cosplay for the last video. Like I said, I wanted to. I'm not the brightest, you guys. <sighs> okay. Everyone. Everyone has lost something precious. Already a better speech than Donald Trump. Everyone here <laughs> has lost humor. Homes, dreams and friends. Everybody? Now Sin is finally dead. It doesn't match her looks like me at all. Spira is ours again. I mean, it sort of does, but it's also sort of exaggerated because it's originally made for Working the Japanese together. language. So, like the lip syncing is. Now we can make new homes for ourselves and new dreams. And so, although I know the journey will be hard, when they read up it over, we have lots of time. The English people have to like be very careful to try and sync up what they're saying. Together, we will rebuild. Spirit. To lip syncing that was not meant to be said with English. It's the same thing in anime. The road is ahead of us. So let's start out today. Aww. She like, did I do good? <laughs> Cause my boyfriend's dead. Just one more thing. Why would she 
you put Seymour's kiss in there. <laughs> like, the entire montage is the, oh, we met everybody and everybody was happy, here's all the happy moments of kissing Titas. But then just... Never forget them. Just a little bit, just a little bit of... Just a little bit of Seymour kissing Yuna. Thanks for that game. So yeah, that's, uh, that's Final Fantasy X. I do love this game, you guys. So, for those who don't know, I can't remember if I mentioned it in another Final Fantasy video, but my favorite Final Fantasies go Final Fantasy IX, Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy VI, then Final Fantasy VIII and XII. That's my top five. Sometimes it goes XII-VIII, sometimes it goes VIII-XII, it depends on my mood, but it's not really ever changed from those. Um, and this is like actual numbered games, because if we start to include Crisis Core and Dissidia, that just messes it up. So if we're just talking main numbered Final Fantasies, that's my list. And as you can see, Seven doesn't make the list. I just like the other ones more. I mean, Teach Their Own. And I just adore this game. Like, I'm probably going to go back and start on my own just when I'm bored and want something to play. I'm just gonna start grinding on for the Sphere Grid and doing the, um, the Dark Aeons quests and all that jazz, just because I honestly enjoy this game. It's the same thing about Final Fantasy X2. So there are parts of X2 that I like, like I love the gameplay and I love a lot of the uh, side quests and minigames, some of the minigames, some of them are just dumb. Um, and I do like the Lan Chi in part of the storyline, but gotta wait till we finish these credits so you can see a special something. Hmm, the credits have finished, and there is mysterious the pirate flies. And the sound of water. And Aditas all curled up. You know, you probably can't breathe in there, bro. So yeah, it's like, the game did not need a sequel, because we already had the, oh hey, Titus is totally possibly still alive, you guys! Leave it open-ended and shit, but we ended up getting 10 too, which has its faults and its good parts. But either way, there it is, you guys, the big fat V, and I don't know what I'm going to play next, but keep an eye on Twitter and on here, and you'll see where my next RPG is going to be. My name is Ms. Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Final Fantasy X. See you all in another Let's Play.